Hey YouTube family and friends, this is Rev with Revving It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions. We're here in our garage in Conway, South Carolina with the electric fifth behind us, the 99 Ford SVT Pro Street Supercharged Cobra. And we promised to make a video of adjusting the alignment of the windows because we were having issues with closing our doors. Uh, yesterday we weren't able to uh, make that video. We had to just kind of relax and get off our feet. So uh, we didn't get to make the video yesterday. But today is Saturday, the 23rd of November, year 2019 of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We always give God thanks glory and honor and praise us for allowing us to see yet another day and to bring these friendly videos to you to which all people of all walks of life can watch whether you're children whether you're teenagers uh whether you're young adults middle-aged senior citizens we are viewer friendly so <laughs> with that being said um we're going to Flip the camera around and uh, give you an indication of what's going on uh, with the Mustang here. And uh, But before we do that, we'll be right back. We had to get that in there so uh, let me show you what's going on with the Mustang here um, when we close the door if you notice right up here at the top it brushes up against the top and when you close the door you see the gap is hitting underneath here and so there's a big gap right there and it's up underneath here the rest of the window Everything is fine. It's just this weird rear track. So every time I get in the car, when I go to close the door, what I have to do is roll the window down slightly. So when it closes, it catches here and not up here. And thank God that it's not scratching uh, any of the paint surfaces up here. So I'm fortunate in that area. But the window should come along this track right here. So that's one problem we want to tackle. Then the next problem we want to tackle is uh, when this vehicle was painted in 2016, uh, all new trim and weather stripping panel was uh, ordered. And this is new weather trim uh, inside and out, all down along here. And if you see here, right on the back, there's a little hole right there. But see how that lifts up? Right, That's not supposed to be able to do that. And so what happens is I'm going to put a 5 16 rivet in there. And so what happens is this sticks up some. So when I put that rivet in there, it's going to hold it in place. Cause I get tired of pushing that down so we're going to take care of those two items today 
and uh, hopefully, prayerfully, everything will will go fine. So um, we're going to show you today how to take apart this uh, window pull cup panel and disconnect the electrical cords there. We're going to pull off the cover for the Mark 460. We're going to pull out the speaker and then there's a clip in the front which should go about right there but this door panel I can tell was removed because that clip wasn't in there and then once you get that you have to remove this trim piece around the door handle and um, when you have this off there'll be one or two there'll be two screws inside here that we loosen up and then the door panel lifts straight up and out of the way and then we have to take the electrical connections off from the window switch and the mirror bracket and it's just uh, a Phillips screwdriver is all we should need to do this job okay so let me switch cameras and I'm going to switch over to my GoPro camera and let the GoPro camera do a recording so we'll see you in just a second with this particular Mustang, like I said, this is a show car. And so we want to be careful with everything we do to her. So things that we don't need tools for, we're not going to use tools. And we don't need tools to remove this or remove that. Because if you use a screwdriver, you could potentially uh, scratch, peel, you know, or crack this material and this is just made of composite plastic so and the same for this door panel trim here uh, we don't need to put a tool in here we should be able to pop that right on out so to take this apart you just pull in here with your fingers and it just comes right out and then you just lift and pull up okay and that's that comes out just that simple and then you just pull out and there's two Phillips screwdrivers, two Phillips hole screwdrivers. You want to just take the screwdriver and take these two screws loose. One there. And there should be one. Oh, one's missing. So someone's been in here before. So that one's missing. So um, let me go and get my Phillips head screwdriver to take this clamp off. And we'll be right back. All right. So, we just go in behind here, release the clip, and pull away, and that comes loose, just like that. We have our, our panel out. So, we'll set this aside in a nice, safe place. Now, we have two screws. I have one screw here and one screw here and that should take care of that door panel part right there so we're going to loosen those screws This doesn't look like an OME screw or washer. And we remove the second screw here. And like I said, uh, back behind the door here, there would be a push pin that it would look sort of like this here. 
like the same push pins that hold in the front bumper and it holds on the radiator uh, shroud on top. You slip a, a tool up underneath there and you can pop those out. So now this door, this uh, Mach 460 speaker, we can just pull on this and it should come loose. wanting to come loose. It should pop right out. Uh, maybe we might need a screwdriver on this. This is sort of unseen. There we go. And that pull right apart with a couple of screwdrivers just going inside. Now, uh, inside here is a Phillips head screwdriver. And we just want to get on that screwdriver, Phillips head, and well, this screwdriver don't seem to be one of working. I thought this was one of the better screwdrivers. I kind of picked the best ones, and I better get my flashlight and my glasses. Thank God we can edit some of this. Okay, let's try this other Phillip screwdriver we got. And hold tight. And voila, this one works. got that out so now what we want to do is just lift up slightly and uh, this is no aftermarkets on this so all we have to do on this let's give you a close-up shot on that um, all we have to do is just disconnect that from here. And you just push it in and pull up. You can probably use a little flathead screwdriver and push that tang in and then it slides right out and then we can secure this out of the way so there's no aftermarket stereo on here so now that takes care of everything that needed to come off so now what we want to do is uh, put the key in the ignition. Roll the window down some. And then start from the back. Start from the back here. Grab here and here. Pull straight up. Okay. The handle just lifts straight off. Now, I can tell that someone's been in here before. We'll secure this 
in a nice dry slot somewhere. Now, we will look and see what the problem might be. Let me get some more light. But since we're dealing with the rear adjustment, the, this is gonna control that and there is this one right here. These two are gonna control the height of the window. And someone has manipulated this to just go around that. How they did that is beyond me. They put a little glue there. And they forced it something to hold it down there. But the window adjustment for the front will be here and here but we're not adjusting the front. We're adjusting the rear. So that will be my bad. Okay, for the front. For the front adjustment, that will be the rear adjustment, I'm sorry, would be here, and this bulk here would adjust. These are the two alignments that we're going to need. But first, I want to look down inside the window and see how the window tracks are. So. We would roll down the window some so we can see the track come down. Okay. And then we can look down in there. Let's roll it down a little bit more. And here is the window track. And the window track, it is offline. Yep. Sad to say, my window track is off. So I am going to have to glue that back on there. Okay, let me lower the camera so you can, I was hoping it wasn't this, but it's exactly what it is. Okay, right in here, this is the, the adjustment window track. And you can see right here, it's hanging off. If I push up on it, you'll see it go up. 
that's where the problem is. So I'm going to have to take the glue loose, take it out of its track, get some new glue and set it properly. And uh, that'll take care of my problem right there. But that is the problem. The front half is on. Let me roll this window down some more so I can get a better look. You see how that is? It needs to be glued better. That is the problem right there. I'm trying to get a, a good angle for you guys to, to see in there. But this is it right here. See how I push up on that, how it slides. So it's going to be an adjustment of putting some new glue in there. The front part of that seems to be on pretty well. So that's my problem. I was hoping it was just a adjustment here, but I can see that glue is you, it's peeling off in my hand as we speak. So I will have to uh, get that window track to go buy some glue, window glue, and and uh, glue this thing back in place. There we go. Beautiful. That worked beautiful. So now we got that in there. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And there's the end of the rivet. Don't need that anymore. So now I'll go ahead and leave this rivet gun the way it is. That's probably the second time I ever used this rivet gun set in quite a while. So we knocked that out of the way. Yeah, while I was working on my Cobra, my buddy Jacob pulled up with the old three Mustang GT cammed out chopping. Listen to that. <laughs> chop, 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 chop. <laughs> boy, that bad boy chopping. <laughs> Mr. Jacob. Going for a ride in the GT. I 
was listening to a, a Cobra with Cam out on YouTube yesterday. Good God, that thing was chopping, man. Yeah, yeah, no. You okay, go to the end and loop. shoot all the way down. Yeah, you're there. just gonna go uh, straight she, she down. Do that while I'm saying. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. All right, appreciate all right, it. Mm -hmm. Mustang sound good. <laughs> hey, he's coming back. <laughs> Can't beat him. Boy, the Mustang sound good. Nice visit for my buddy Jacob. So hello YouTube family and friends. This is Rev with Revving It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions. And we're here today with hopefully and prayerfully the conclusion of fixing and adjusting the window. We learned that the window track uh, was off on the rear of the driver's side and we apply some epoxy glue um, windshield glue to it and so we let it cure uh, over 24 hours so we're going to see the results of that so here we go okay so we let the uh, glue cure it overnight and what we did we just put a plastic garbage bag over the window to prevent particulate matter from getting inside of the Cobra uh, overnight from my wife probably uh, leaving the, entering the garage last night leaving out for work this morning and particulate matter is just enough fancy word for dust so we're going to uh, take this plastic off and we're going to see how well our glue has held up and to see if this has fixed the window or if we need to do any more adjustments so We'll be right back in just a short. Okay, so here you can see the window. And uh, let's see how well our glue has held up. Oh, that's pretty tight. Yeah, that's tight. That's an excellent job. You can see right there. That's where we had the rear end had came off. And there's the front. So we completely glued it in there. So now what we'll do, we'll, um, I have to go in and get the key. I can't believe I left the key. I didn't leave the key out here. <laughs> I have to get the key and I'll okay so we have the key and what we want to do is we're just going to hang this back out of the way here for a spell and we're going to roll this window up now the windows rolled up we're going to see how it acts when we go to shut it. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. That is all she wrote. 
It's not hitting nowhere. Plenty of room, plenty of room, plenty of room. And she's right where she needs to be. That is outstanding. That's what I like to see. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, that opens and closes a lot better. Now I don't have to worry about when my, I'm away from home and my wife is showing the car to people that this window is hitting above there. Now you can see where it did some prior damage to the rubber there, but that's fine. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We can manipulate that. Fix that just so. And now it's like it never even happened. And we close our door. And we are sealed tight all the way around. Looking good. So now, all we have to do is just do the reverse and put the window back together, put the uh, door panel back on, and that will be it. And I won't be able to film that because um, I'm using my phone and my, my GoPro camera is on charge. But anyway, you saw what I did. We put the rivet back in here so that doesn't come up and we fixed this uh, problem with the door. So we're gonna pull this rag out of here. What a lot of junk come up. And I'm gonna get my vac and I'm gonna clean all that debris out of there with the vacuum cleaner, make sure it's nice and clean. So we can take the key out. And that is how you troubleshoot when your window is out of alignment. It was the worst case scenario that we did have to uh, pull the window off track and clean it and re-glue it, put it back on track, let it cure for 24 hours, and it did solve the problem. But um, if my window still didn't line up, then what we would have to do is we would get inside the car, roll the window down about a quarter of a ways, you would get in the car, turn the key, you would loosen this top bolt, that bolt in the rear, this top bolt here in the front, and that bolt there. And then you would roll your window all the way up. Then you would take this, push it all the way against the window and tighten it. Take that, push it all the way against the window and tighten it. Then this one on down here, you will push this all the way down and tighten it. Push this all the way down and tighten it. Then you will get out and you will close the door and everything is lined up, it's good. But if it's hitting in the front or in the back, then you only make adjustments here. You will loosen the bolt here and let it down just a little bit and tighten it. If it was in the front, you would loosen it, bring it down, or if it's not up enough, you slide it up and you tighten it. And then you wanna torque that to probably about 103 inch pounds. Okay, here we can see the finished work. The door panel is back on. That, the, the Mach 460 speaker, the cover, the pull panel, everything is nice and tight. The door switch works, windows work up and down. And we can see we have the correct clearance up there. No more window gap right here. So the door opens and close perfectly so we thank god for another job well done and for giving us the ability to work on and fix the little common problems with the uh, new edge mustangs so our next video we're giving you things that i like and dislike about the new edge mustang my cobra in particular uh, the things I like and don't like about it, you'd be surprised uh, how many dislikes I have about this vehicle. All right, gang, we hope we've done something to enlighten you, give you some education on how to fix your new edge Mustang when it comes to alignment of your windows. 
Once again, if you like the videos, hit the like button, subscribe, help us with our membership. And uh, as always, we thank you, God bless you, and have a wonderful week. Rev it up, Mustang Fanatic Productions.